Hi everyone, welcome back to another Creative Tap tutorial. Um, now, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be going through the merge node, but more, this is going to be more focused on actually breaking down what the over operation of the merge node does and how it works, okay? The reason I'm going to be doing that is because I will also be doing a uh, tutorial on the merge node in a little bit more depth, looking at all the kind of other options and exactly how we can get the most out of that node, etc., etc. Okay, but before I go into that, um, I want to kind of break down exactly what happens in the over operation because going through that can kind of help with the kind of later tutorial which I'll do and I wanted to break it up because it just, I don't want the other one to be too long okay so we're gonna have a quick look at this um, what I've got let's have a quick look um, I've got an image here a background image of this um, sort of I don't know where it is to be honest this sort of mountainous range and I've got an Iron Man photo okay if we have a look at the alpha channel of the Iron Man photo um, the alpha channel is kind of where he is and there's no alpha with this background image okay so let's delete that merge <clears throat> if we want to put one over the other what we can do is hit m on our keyboard and it gives us what's called a merge node so you may well know this um but within here you've got multiple operations okay uh if you click in here you've got multiple ones some you'll recognize from photoshop and after effects like stencil soft light screen plus overlay multiply um t -t -t divide you may not you may have seen before uh, and then there's some like a top conjoint over uh, mask mat max min uh, XOR um, still don't really know what XOR is used for but um, I will be going through um, a lot of these okay some of them you'll have noticed before stuff like that okay so um, I'll also in future tutorials be kind of going through all these other drop downs seeing how we can make the most out of it but for today um, we're just gonna hook this merge node up okay now if you haven't used a merge node before B normally it's normally cl a lot cleaner. B goes into your what you want to be in the background. Okay, so you got A pipe and B pipe. Um, they just they just assign them those two letters because the first two letters are the alphabet. But B just use that for background. So B for background. So if I hook this up to here and A to here, now let's have a look at our merge node, and we've got A on top or over because it's set um, it's set to the over operation. A over B. Okay. Now, if um, you know something, if if um, you haven't got an alpha channel in in this image or stuff like that, sometimes it may not work just how you expect it to. So what I am going to be doing is kind of breaking it down. Okay, so over operation is the generic one that it gives you, but there is like we said, there's so many others. But it, um, by default, it gives you over. If I hover my mouth hover my mouse over this drop down you'll see a load of um, text comes up and if you scroll down to where it says over next to it it says a plus b brackets one minus a close brackets and we're going to be looking at exactly what that means and when you can understand that it'll help you to understand what the hell the rest of them are doing okay um, so let's kind of dive on in now I'm gonna first of all bring you over here so let's bring our viewer over here. This is a breakdown. If we flick between, so let's zoom out a little bit. Let's bring these down. If I flick my viewer between these two, you can see I hit one and two. We've got the exact same thing up here, okay? And that's basic, but over here is basically doing exactly what this over is doing. And I'm gonna break that down for you. So. Let's um, let's go over here. Let's make a roto paint node, and let's view that. So that little merge over operation, if we hover over, says capital A plus capital B, open brackets one minus small a, close brackets. So let's write that down. Okay, let's go in here. A plus sorry, my writing really isn't good. B open brackets. 1 minus little a. Okay. Now, first thing when you look at this, um, first thing you've got to kind of think back is think back to maths class. Whenever you see brackets, brackets are the thing, this is the thing we do first. And we've got to minus whatever 1 is from whatever this a is. Check here at the top of the tree, we've got a merge which is set to minus. Okay. So we've got to do that first. And I'll go through exactly what that is. And then when you've got um, an equation like this 
and you've got something like a letter or a number and then it just goes straight into brackets, you always assume that you multiply, okay? So even if this was written with a little star up here, it's the same thing. You've got to do this brackets first and then whatever numbers or letters you have over here, these have got to be multiplied by each other. And that's exactly why we've got a merge which is doing a multiply operation by here. And then whatever B multiplied by the answer of this is, you A, you plus A to it because you've got the plus here. And that's why we've got a plus operation down here, okay? So let me break this down for you. First of all, we're going to start with 1 minus this little a. So before we kind of go into that, what I want you to have a think about is, let's bring this over here. Remember I was talking about this a and b pipe? Capital A means this a pipe, so whatever data and numbers is coming in in this a pipe. And b, capital B, is looking at whatever data and numbers and figures are coming in from the b pipe, okay? So that's what those two are. Now one is just I'll show, I'll show you kind of what one is. I'll go over little a first. Little a means alpha, okay? And it's looking at the alpha channel from the a input, okay? So a little a is the alpha of this a input by here, all right? So going back to the one, we need to do one minus the alpha information from our a input, okay? Now to represent one, if you've used nuke before, you may well know this, um, but if we make a constant, and let's just um, source some pixels by here. If you look, you've got zero in the red channel, zero in the green channel, zero in the blue channel, okay? There's no data there whatsoever. So on the constant operations, what we can do is just turn this color all the way up to one. And you can see, as I pull this value up, these numbers by here are going to increase. So you just fill it. So it's got a complete data in the red, green, and blue, and that all added together gives you just white, okay? So this is just full of color information now. Um, so we've got, this represents our one, and from this we minus the alpha information of our A input, okay? And that's what's going on here. So if I get this node, what I'm gonna do, looking at this, we've got our alpha information in there, but what we wanna do is we wanna shuffle it out, okay? If you haven't used shuffles before, don't worry about what I'm about to do. I'll just very quickly um, do something, use a shuffle, plug it in there, and I'm just going to shuffle out the alpha channel. And what this is doing is taking the alpha, alpha information and it's pouring it into the red, green, blue, and alpha channels. Okay, so don't worry. We've now got our alpha information in the color information. So what we're going to do with that, we've, got our, we've now got our one, which is this constant, and we've got our alpha channels all shuffled out. And we're just going to do this minus this. So if I hit merge, get a merge node, hit M, sorry, get a merge node. What all we're gonna do now is do this minus this, okay? So if we click this merge, change the operation to minus, which is, let me find it there. So let's have a view of what's going on. So this is what's happening. We've got full information in here, and we've got our alpha channel by here, and what we're doing is we're just saying yeah, one, so which is this, minus A, okay? So what I'm gonna very quickly do is just make a backdrop to illustrate this. So, zoom out very quickly. So this is, let's double click this. This is one, let's make that a little bit bigger, like so. So the, yeah, this is our this is our one, okay, and then let's get another backdrop, backdrop like so. This then is our little a. So we're doing one minus a, and this is the result we're getting, okay. Next thing we want to do, let's look back at our merge node. So we've done one minus a. We've solved this. We now do b times this or b multiply this. That one, really easy. So what was our B input? It was this background. So let's just copy this over here. And we want to do B minus, mul sorry, multiplied by our answer. So if we get a merge node, let's go like so. Okay. And now change the operation here to multiply. And let's have a look. So we're up here. 
And now, as we come down here, we're multiplying B by our 1 minus A, and this is what it's getting. It's giving us the background, okay? So let's just make a backdrop for that. Backdrop, and let's just label this capital B. Check that up, and let's bring this stuff down a little bit. Okay, so let's have a look. We've solved this bit. We've got B, our B input, and multiplied it by what we had. So now we do A and plus it to what we've already got, okay? So that's the last little bit. Um, so our A input, because it's the capital A, um, is this Iron Man. So let's just, um, for the sake of argument, let's just bring it over again. Um, we could pipe it down, but let's just get a merge, okay? So what we're going to do is hook this up and change this merge operation to plus. And let's have a look at what we've got first. This is what we've got, which is the exact same to this. So if I switch between them, this is exactly what the operate, uh, the over operation is doing, all right? So let me very quickly put a backdrop in there before we have a little final summary. This is our, let's have a look, A. Okay, so we've got one, which is this constant, minus this alpha input, which we shuffled out. We then got B multiplied by this one minus A, which is happening here. And then we A plus B, A coming in plus B. There we go. This is what this is exactly what's happening. So when you're in this um, merge node and you're kind of looking through all these, that's that's exactly what it's doing. Okay. So now I've kind of illustrated what's going on with that one. I am going to be doing some more um, some more tutorials on the merge node, um, which probably won't even go as deep as this. We're just going to kind of have a look at what the uses of the kind of other operations and kind of all, all the other stuff we've got in here, alpha masking or all, all that stuff. Okay. Um, so I have, I do say this to all my students, it really does help um, if you are good at maths. I think maths and physics for being a compositor, really, really helpful. To be honest, I, I was never any good at maths. And I have had to kind of, um, in my spare time, brush up on certain areas. Um, I don't want to have to put people off. There's certain areas that it helps to know if you're doing match moving, trigonometry, you, you kind of need to know that. Um, and just um, sort of with these ones, we were just looking at the basic sort of, um, I can't remember what it's called, bod mass or whatever, brackets first and then all, all that stuff. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's a basic breakdown of this is what the over operation is doing within your um, compositing workflow okay so um, cheers for tuning in I hope that kind of illustrated some stuff what I would encourage you to do is go ahead and see if you can use the kind of knowledge you learned from this one to kind of have a look at what's going on in some of these other ones down down here okay um, so yeah hopefully see you in the next tutorial and cheers for tuning in